Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Jesse and welcome to a holiday reading journey through a book called The Square Root of Possible, A Jingle Jangle Story by friends of mine, Lynn and David Talbert. Let's get reading! Journey loved to make things. She liked to tinker, to engineer, to invent. When she was hard at work puzzling her way from a pile of parts to a brand new creation, Journey saw things, beautiful things. Formulas, equations, numbers, logic, paths from here to there, from start to finish, from problem to solution. Journey saw things that shouldn't be possible. Journey made things that shouldn't be possible. But because Journey believed in them, they were. It's a wonderful thing to see impossible things, to have extraordinary vision. But it can be lonely too when people don't see what you see. You get it from your grandfather, Journey's mom said with a funny smile. Journey had never met her grandfather. All she knew was, what I know about Grandpa. One, his name is Geronicus Jangle. Two, he lives far away. Three, he was the greatest inventor of all time. He used to make the most marvelous toys and inventions, Journey's mom said. She always looked a little sad when she talked about her father, Geronicus, but proud too. Journey wanted to meet her grandfather. She wanted to meet someone who was like her, who saw the things she saw. She wanted to work side by side with the great inventor, Geronicus Jangle. And so Journey set off to Cobbleton. But when Journey found her grandfather, there were no glowing formulas. There were no dancing numbers. There weren't even any tools or materials or notebooks filled with scribbled notes. There was just a grouchy old man who didn't seem very happy to see Journey. This was a problem for sure, but Journey loved problems. Finding the solution was always so satisfying. Geronica's jangle had lost his jingle and Journey was going to help him get it back. Journey's grouchy grandfather was poking at something interesting. It didn't look like it was going so well, so Journey decided to help. She scribbled a glowing formula into the air. Words and numbers, truth and magic, time, chance, belief. You can see that, her grandfather said. Can't you, asked Journey. Her grandfather looked glum. No, he said, not anymore. Journey stayed up late that night thinking about the square root of possible. There was a variable missing from her grandfather's life. His crankiness had been multiplied by boredom, which was bad enough. But the long division of lonely, that was the real problem. What Geronica's jangle was missing was fun. Fun would balance out that equation. Fun canceled out bitterness. Fun subtracted sadness. In the morning, a fresh coat of snow blanketed Cobbleton. It was beautiful. And more than that, Journey happened to know what snow added up to. Journey knew just what she needed to do. Splat! Her snowball socked Geronica's right on the head. Journey giggled. Bullseye! For one terrible moment, Geronica's jangle looked grouchier than ever. <laughs> Come on, Journey thought. The square root of possible and the fourth snowball theorem dictates an equal and opposite reaction. So react! And then, he began scribbling furiously in the snow. At first, the symbols only glowed faintly. But as Journey's grandfather built a fearsome new formula, the letters and numbers began to burn in the air. 
Nobody but Journey and Geronicus could see them. Nobody but Journey and Geronicus believed them. But that didn't mean they weren't real. They were the realest thing ever. Powered by the pure math of mischief, the snowball whizzed through the crowd. It swerved around corners. It hopped over lampposts. Journey dodged and ducked, but the snowball had a vision. Splat! Journey had never been so happy to get a face full of snow in her whole life. <laughs> They're having so much fun. It was the most magnificent mathematical snowball fight Cobbleton had ever seen. And the best part of all of it was that her square root of possible theorem worked. Fun minus sad, multiplied by mischief, divided by love, with the addition of affection added for good measure, equals joy. Oh, what a great story. Well, until next time, I look forward to seeing you again when we are Baby with Mr. Jeff.